In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to sign a PDF on your Chromebook without having to print it out, sign it with an actual pen, and then scan it back in again. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure you've downloaded the PDF to your Chromebook so that it shows up in the Files app here as an actual PDF file. So if it's already saved somewhere like this, you're good to go. But if it's just attached to an email in Gmail, something like that, or just open in a tab in Chrome like this, you will need to save it to your Chromebook. So just find the download button somewhere and click that and then save it somewhere on your Chromebook and now you'll be good to go. So now you'll just need to open up the Files app and find your PDF. So you might have saved it in Google Drive or maybe somewhere in My Files or if it didn't ask you where you want to save it and it just downloaded, it'll be in the Downloads folder under My Files here. So you'll just need to come into My Files and then double click on Downloads and it will be in here. So now once you've saved your PDF and you've found it in the Files app, to sign it, all you need to do is double click on it to open it up and then you'll see your PDF here and in the menu across the top of the screen you'll need to click on this squiggly line icon. So we'll click on that and now it brings up a whole lot of pen options. So you want to go with pen because the highlighter is not going to be very good for signing at all and this one's just an eraser, so you'll want to go with pen. And the size is kind of up to you, but Timmy would probably recommend choosing the thinnest size there is. That way you can write a nice, small, real looking signature. And you can also choose a color if you want to, but that might be look a bit weird if you sign it in any, in a, any color other than black. And as you can see, black is already selected here. So we're good to go. So now, if you hover your mouse over your document, you'll see your cursor has turned into this little black dot. So now you can just sign your document. So if you need to scroll down to where you need to sign, you can still just scroll down normally to find where you need to sign. But Timmy needs to sign right here. So now to actually sign your document, if you're using the trackpad on your Chromebook, you'll need to position your cursor at the start of where your signature will go. So there is about right. And the easiest way to go about doing it is to click and hold in the bottom left hand corner of the trackpad like that. And then you can use your other hand in the middle of the trackpad to draw your signature. So while you're clicking and holding, you can go up and form whatever your signature is. And it can be quite hard to sign with a trackpad like that. So if anything goes wrong, you can choose the eraser up here. And then all you need to do is click and drag over your signature and it will erase it. And then you can try again and hopefully after a few times trying again you should be able to get a reasonably good looking signature. Or if you're using a mouse with your Chromebook like Timmy is here and you have it back on pen ready to sign your signature it's pretty much the same. You just click with your mouse button so click and hold like that and then move the mouse around to sign your signature. Or if your Chromebook has a touch screen, which a lot of modern Chromebooks do, you can actually just reach out and touch the screen and sign your signature as though your finger is the pen. So if your Chromebook has a touch screen, that might actually be the easiest way to go about doing it. But however you sign it, once it's signed, all you have to do is save it. So if you want to have a signed copy of your PDF, so you have an unsigned version and a new copy that has your signature on it, 
you can come up here and click on this arrow next to the save button and then in this menu that appears click save as and then a window will pop up and allow you to save a new copy of your PDF with your signature on it. But if you don't care about that and you just want to save this one signed copy, you can just click the normal save button up here and now your signature will be saved. So if we close this window, you'll see you'll still have just this one copy of the document and when you open it up, it has your signature on it. And that's all there is to it. The PDF is now signed. So now you can go ahead and upload it somewhere or attach it to an email or do whatever you needed to do with it. So hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and Timmy will see you in the next video.